Okay, well, let's save. If I die, it'll be a lull. Uh, again, this is like an incomplete game, but promising to what we see. Uh, Mr. Bear, I need to remind you to click or tap that like button, sir. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, then. You look kind of kind of hideous. Where's your friend? Uh, it looks like the other gun... Oh, what was the other gun? A rifle or was it a handgun? Maybe we'll find a handgun in there. No? I hope I can shoot through this fence and that it's not like an invisible wall or whatever. Oh, damn. All right, I don't think you took any damage, Bear. I'll come over there, sir. Just stand by. Gonna pop you and drop you, you know what I mean? Do -do 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 -do. Don't alert Bear 2. Bear, alert. Bear, alert. Get wrecked. Bear alert. <laughs> I think that's the bear, like, doing its AI pathing to find out how to get to me, but he can't quite figure it out. Alright. Yay! I killed two bears. That's kind of cool that they actually dropped the empty shells everywhere, too. What? Can you believe it? Raptor playing another survival game? This one happening to be in the snow where you have to survive through a dangerous environment filled with animals and bears and, of course, winter that wants you dead? Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Good to see you all here for a new game called uh, Ur Urzrum. Somewhere in Turkey, by the way. It's a region or a city where we'll be traveling through. Uh, from building to building and see if we can actually, like, uh, survive. I don't know anything really about the story, and I think to myself, uh, the less I know, the more interesting it'll be to see it develop in the game. But it is available on Steam in a few days, and so if you like yourself some survival sims and can't get enough like me, this definitely would be a good one for you. So welcome again. Remember, only one out of every two people who watch, just half of the people who are uh, watching the channel are subscribed, so we're getting close to that big million. Make sure you sub! We're almost there, so thanks again for all the support. Thanks for smashing the like to support the channel and the devs, too, of all these cool little indie games. And uh, I don't mind taking a look at them at all, so welcome again. Good to see you all here. Those rabbits are going crazy, aren't they? Making me hungry. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game. Apparently, there's a sandbox mode. So just like The Long Dark, a lot of uh, people are being sur inspired by these types of survival games. This one having a story mode or a sandbox mode and also challenges, too. Kind of cool. All right, let's go into story mode and see what it has to offer. Okay, let's go into sandbox mode and see what it has to offer. Challenges and story are not yet complete. Soon, though. Soon. Let's go ahead and go into sandbox and explore the map. That should be pretty cool. Welcome back again to all of you. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if not, I hope the uh, video here cheers you up. Don't be afraid to say hi down below in that comment section. All right, it'll be cool to see what the story uh, has to offer. So I guess for now, we'll just say that we're a dude bro. Or a girl fam, and we're going somewhere in Turkey. Oh, maybe there was a train derailment or something. We were the only survivor. I guess we'll play it with that. We'll make our own story. We were on our way to a Denny's in Turkey on the train, and the train derailed. And uh, we still need to get to that Denny's. We got to go to a Denny's. Ooh, this looks really good. Look at those trees. That Okay, this is actually quite impressive. That looks really good. All right, let's see if we can open up the map. <clears throat> okay, so we're at the northern part of the map. We probably have to go all the way to the southern map. But I guess really the... Uh, I guess the point would be to just survive. So there could be uh, bears out there. There could be... Uh, well, pretty much anything. Upper left corner, negative 20 degrees Celsius. The cloth is 5. So it feels like negative 15. So we're definitely going to uh, start freezing soon. Lower left corner, we see it looking a lot like the long dark in terms of temperature, energy... Food and water. I assume the the droplet is probably our food, and the uh, stomach is probably our water, right? That's that's probably the way it is. It's got to be. Okay, so wow, this really looks good. Damn, this looks really impressive. I'm very impressed with these trees. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's probably because I got so used to the long dark looking at these types of environments that seeing it in any HD is like when you apply an HD mod to Minecraft for the first time, and you're like, whoa. And it blows your mind. All right, looks like there's a lot of logs down here. I don't know exactly what we need to uh, look for to survive. Uh, let's see if there's uh, any other menus. Wow, temperature is going down quick, my man. Okay, we can't pick these up. We actually have clothes. Oh, we can see our legs. We're actually wearing some pretty decent clothes. We have a log. Hatchet is required. Okay, so we can cut this up. 
So we probably need to make a stone hatchet. Oh, there's a building over there. And I see smoke, too. Oh, and there's a watchtower? Okay. Wow, right, let's get to a building. We clearly don't have enough materials or... Uh, do we have an inventory? Let me see. Okay, we do have an inventory with I. We can craft things. Bandages, hatchets. Okay, let's let's keep trucking. Let's get inside and catch our... Uh, get our bearings here. I want to see if I can pick up any rocks. Nope. All right, well, I must say the game, uh, again, looks really impressive. The uh, trees and such look really good. This building looks a little eh. Oh, damn. In with that remix. Radio tower over there, watchtower over there. This is really close to the railroad tracks. It's getting colder. All right, let's see if we can get inside this building here. Before we freeze to death, boys. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, we can't go inside? Wow, it's like completely snowed in. Alright, well that sucks. Turkish flag out front. Some music kicked up, so I was expecting to see something from it. Well, that sucks. Alright, well let's keep walking along the railroad tracks. Wait a minute, there's a little house icon here. How did I not see that building? Did that just pop in before, or did I just completely miss it? I must have missed it. I only noticed it because of the symbol on the... ...on the minimap. Okay, at least we have a house here. Are you ki What's inside? Ma'am? Sir, is anybody home? I need some help here. I'm looking for a Denny's. Oh. Ah, okay, so it's not as cold. Oh, we have some coal. Uh, we'll need matches, though, to start the fire. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Got to be some matches here somewhere. Oh, we obtained ankle socks and a beanie. We got some wood. Oh, here we go. Oh, this really looks good. Sugar, wafers. Oh, hell yeah. We're making dinner tonight. Onion and garlic matches there. First aid kit. Uh, painkillers. Okay, we'll take those. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's put on some uh, clothing then. Is there a way to wear this? Wear. Oh, there we go. Okay. So head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess this is just to get us started, so let's take everything. I love how these are photorealistic, dude. This this is actually really looking good. Stuffed vine leaves. Known as uh, Yaprak some something? Some, Samara? And some tea. All right. Sugar will go good with that. We got tuna, too. I like tuna. I don't know what we can do with the garlic and onion, but we may as well just take everything. All right, let's go ahead and start the stove. We'll start with one coal. Ah, there we go. All right, it'll last us an hour. To which we could probably sleep. It looks like we're quite tired. So let's grab this coal here and throw it inside. Okay, so we can sleep for at least four hours. But I want to I want to look around and make this our main base for now. But we got to stay near the fire to warm up. Can we cook anything? Melt snow. Well, we could get water that way. Uh, we have soup, bread. Wow, we can actually make. Uh, Venison, rabbit, boar, predator. Uh-oh. Oh, so we can pick a recipe and it'll actually tell us what's required. So if we make a venison kebab, we could use uh, venison, spices, onion, and garlic. Okay. Well, we can make tea. We gotta find a teapot. 
short and stout. We have a metal bowl here, too. Let's grab that. I don't know if that'll be useful. Very small house. Very cozy, though. Yeah, it's like Grandma's house with that horrible-looking uh, stuff there. I love it. So we can come back here. I guess we'll make this our main base, although I feel like we should go a lot further. <laughs> the railroad track is a good place to follow along. It looks like there could be maybe a road there. I think that's actually the ridge of a mountain, but it could be a path or something. Or there could be paths that aren't indicated on the map. Okay. Oh, we need to... Oh, we got a bowl now. Well, we have a bowl to melt snow, so let's at least do that. And we'll save the, uh... We'll save the water for later. Alright, let's drop a few things that we probably won't need. Oh, didn't mean to... Oh, health is full. Oh, that's only for health. Is there a way to... Okay, there's not... A... Okay, we have to click and drag, it seems. That's fine. Uh... Painkillers might be a good thing to take with us. I think all the food we'll just leave here. But I'll take liquid with us. And maybe the wood so we can start a fire out there. Is this that tuna? Okay. Well, we could probably eat the tuna raw. What's our capacity? 30 kilograms. So we're at 2.92. It's a pretty damn good survival game so far. I like how the snow is on fire. Okay, we'll get a drink of water. And then we'll nap as soon as it's ready. Oh dear. That's really impressive. Damn. I love the look of this house too. I hope we can build a house in this game. That'd be really cool. Two minutes remaining. Okay. Oh man, I'm getting long dark vibes. Any other landmarks on the map? There seems to be like a road here. Oh, do we need it to purify? One water. Okay, so we don't actually need the water to be potable. We just need to melt it. All right, let's take a nap for a bit. This has at least three hours left, so let's take a three-hour nap. Good. Okay, now it's nighttime. Nineteen minutes. Oh, we still need we need we still need some rest. I think. Okay, let's add more wood then. I need to figure out how to make a uh, sleep for another three hours. Actually, let's sleep for six hours. That remix, though. We're going to have to find food and stuff. All right, do we know what time it is? Not food, but we need to find... Um, we need to find a way to make uh, weapons and stuff. Oh, it's uh, 2238. Okay, so it's about midnight. So we're getting hungry and thirsty. Whoa. Wait, is that possible? Okay. Alright, well, it's super cold again. Super mega cold. But we gotta go out and find something. Need to be able to make a hatchet soon, but that probably requires, like, sticks and stones. Or we can find one in a shed somewhere. Seems like a good idea to follow the railroad tracks. Damn, whoever's on this guitar is just like kicking ass. At least some good music while we try to survive. Although if a bear is going to sneak up behind me, I'm not even going to hear him. What are the odds that like I cross the railroad tracks and we get killed by a train? Alright, what do we have here? Okay, we have more stones and things. Can we pick up this little tree here? No? Okay, usually you can break those into sticks or something in other games, so I was just checking. Just checking. Okay, let's keep going down this way. All right, so I think the best option for us to do would be to follow the railroad tracks. It seems to also be getting colder, too. 
Uh, it's nighttime, so I wonder if, as time goes on, if the weather will get worse. Looking for a cabin or anything. It was that radio tower and also that, um, watchtower, too, but those were really far off the, uh, tracks. Oh, I think I see a house here. We can barely go uh, any distance without enough protection, so I guess the first thing would be to procure basic tools and uh, clothing and then venture further and further away from the railroad tracks. Trying to run as much as possible, but I guess it's not easy in the snow. What if we can get a flashlight or a torch? We should be able to make campfires out in the field, too, uh, because we'll need to be able to make food at somewhere other than these little uh, checkpoints. Uh, oh, there's a door. Ah, there we go. Oh, hell yeah. Sesame pretzel stick? Oh, I love that. I love sesame. Damn, Turkish food is awesome. There's a bed here again. Yogurt! Okay, we can eat that if we want to. Turkish yogurt. We got sugar again. Coffee pot. I don't know what that is. And we have some cloth. Maybe we can make something out of that. What's that called? Tarhana? Barrel. Ah, bottle of water. Okay, I think we should sleep a little bit. Oh, there's actually no warmth in here at all. Although I don't have any fuel, really. Unless the cloth works. Nope. Don't even have any branches yet. Okay. Really hard to see, isn't it? Oh, matches again. Okay, it's going to get a little darker. I wonder if sleeping actually makes us warmer. Oh, yep. Bed heat bonus. Felt temperature. Let's do like a six-hour nap. I wonder if that'll... Yeah, it makes us a little colder. Wait, didn't I do a six-hour nap? How is it uh, only, like, midnight? It was 22 minutes ago. Oh, great. Now we're even colder. Let me see if I can make the cloth into anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, it can be used to repair clothes. Oh! Condition of that is 90%. Condition of the hat is 83%. Gives one C when when worn. I don't think I can repair these, can I? Oh, a sewing kit is required. Okay. Hmm. Well, we could bring all the food back to our first base. So it seems like every, mm, let's say, maybe half kilometer, there seems to be a checkpoint or a house. We are dead if we can't find any clothing, more importantly, like food. Uh, fuel. Hmm. Well, let's go look for another house. We're going to start taking uh, damage once our health is low enough. Curious as to why people built their houses directly next to uh, railroad tracks, but that could be for a safety thing. You know, like, for example, if a train breaks down or something in this cold region, there's not a lot of people living here. It'll give a way for people to make it through. I think I've seen something like that in Sweden and Canada before where there's guest cabins where if something happens, there's a... Wow, there's a giant fire over there. We see that again. That must be our objective. Is that a crash site or something? Health is going down rather quickly. But I guess our best bet is just going to be to stay along the railroad tracks. We have nothing. If we could find a hatchet, that would be great. Whoa. Tree in the way. Yeah, let's make our way up the road. Beautiful sky, too. Alright, so that fire looks like it's over that mountain. 
range right there. So if we're looking at the map, that seems like it could be somewhere over in this side of the map. Actually, it probably could be right over here. It's probably somewhere flat land-wise or something. Could be a power plant. Could be a plane crash. Could be a train crash. Maybe we're trying to work our way to survivors. Hmm. I haven't seen any animals yet either. No uh, rabbits or bears. Bears, I guess, are a good thing that we haven't seen. All right, well, the good news is I do see another structure. Interestingly enough, I think unless we're able to hunt, we probably will run out of food eventually and water too unless we can cut down trees because without the ability to cut down trees, we're not going to be able to make water unless we find it, unless there's a well or something like that. So I'm thinking as, as to how we're going to continue to play the sandbox mode, how we would find resources to keep us alive continuously. It well, looks like we didn't lose that much health at all actually. All right, another structure. Looks like a refrigerator. Oh, there's a damn teapot. Right there. uh, hard sugar, pepper spice. Stove again. But we need to find fuel. We found garlic. Ah. We found a Turkish t-shirt. Okay, so we add a t-shirt on top of that. Cool. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Apparently we can make bread. So the storage chest must be for us to come back to later. It's really hard to see. Oh, a ladder. What are we going to do? Shoot a deer from here or something? I hope there's a gun in here somewhere. Ah, we have a whetstone. That's great. We can sharpen uh, tools and axes and things with that. Very good. Damn, I don't know. I don't know how else we're gonna find fuel. We're also very hungry. We could eat some snacks. I kind of wish we would have brought all that stuff with us now. Let's see. Well, we can eat the wafers, I guess. Fill stomach by twenty percent. Oh, well, that's a pretty good thing to find. Uh, Turkish coffee ingredients. The other one is a teapot, but we'll need heat in order to make coffee. Uh, let's see. Fill stomach by 5 and restores hydration by 30. How are we doing with that? I think we're okay. Hmm. I think we just got to keep on trucking. Oh, there's a soup that we can make too, but we need we need fuel. And I'm just finding it really hard to see anything. I'm sure I missed something, but... Luckily, all these buildings are along the railroad tracks, so we know we can come back. Well, without the ability to make a fire, I think we were really supposed to keep all that coal and um, wood with us and stop at each thing. I was hoping to, like, wait till daytime, like, sleep out the night so it would be somewhat warmer. But it seems like it's, inten <clears throat> it's intended that you keep the, uh, the firewood, like, uh, one with you at each time, and then halfway through your journey, like right where we were now would have been a good idea to cook food with the firewood and coal that we would have had left over. Wow, this is beautiful though. Gotta be bears and stuff out here. I'm sure they're away from the railroad tracks. I'm sure they don't really come around here. So air temp is now negative 34. The cloth is bringing us a 9% bonus, so apparently 20... Five is what it feels like.
Wow. And if we could find a, a, a pickaxe or we could find a, a hatchet or something, that'd be great. Let's see. There's that smoke over there, too. I'm really curious to know what's at the end of that smoke. Now, perhaps this isn't just the only map in the game, too. For example, The Long Dark has several maps where you'll go to different regions and encounter different enemies, and it does appear that in this game, there could be more than just this area here, and this could just be one of the story areas where, you know, we stumble upon a train crash or whatever the fire might be at the end. I'm really curious to see. We're about... I'd say halfway there, even. Well, yeah, it looks like... Okay, so our next house we're going to encounter is probably going to be right about here where the mark, where that marker is. Or where I put my mouse. So let's continue to keep on trucking. Now, what are we at for... Okay, we only have eight kilograms worth of stuff on us. We have eight kilos with a 30 capacity. I'm assuming the firewood and coal would probably take up the most of that weight. If we were carrying that with us. Okay, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not seeing anything else off in the distance. There, actually, there is towers up there, but that doesn't mean there's a building. It could just be a lonely tower. A good spot to build those... in what otherwise is a pretty low valley. The train seems to be built in a pretty elevated position that goes up and down throughout the uh, valley itself as well. There's another structure. Okay. Deer. Cool, we see our first wildlife. I wonder if there'll be a gun in here to teach us how to shoot. Oh, I think he ran off. Another house. Oh, moldy yogurt. Mmm. Still might be able to use that for something. Okay, an onion just sitting out in the open. All right, nice. <laughs> now we have matches again. Sugar. More of those pretzel sticks. More painkillers. Tea, flour, water. We have lots of food. I wonder if we need a can opener to get those open. This is one of the cool things in the long dark, too, is that you could carry a can opener with you to open cans. Uh, otherwise, you had to use your knife or just basically to smash it on the ground. I wonder if the inventory carries over, too. That hard sugar there? Don't know what this material... What is this? Something that we can use. Alright, the stove again. Does this give us any sort of bonus? Uh, felt temperature is 10. The heat bonus is f negative 5 again. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we're almost dead. Oh, wardrobe. Pants. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so now we have a full outfit. Brings us to uh, negative 4C. No need to sleep. Come on now. We, I want the I want the heat bonus. If I got into that bend, it would warm us up. Okay. I wonder what painkillers are used for in this game. What does it do? Does it just give health? Oh, it restores health. Antibiotics restore health. Okay, that's kind of a cheat, but all right. Nice. Uh, same with the painkillers, seems. They were, they do ten. Okay, we're also hungry, so let's eat the tuna. 
Nice. And let's do the uh, stuffed vines. Nice. All right, well, there's not anything else here for us, from what I've seen. Of course, we're probably leaving something behind, but if we have to come back this way, we'll take the railroad tracks. Let's keep on trucking. Oh, we have uh, sticks here, finally. Ah, very nice. Okay. We can finally start a fire. Let's grab all what we can. I'm sure there's been more of this, but these are, like, just crazy. Good picking up animation, too. A lot of games just kind of put stuff in your inventory and don't actually animate. Oh, hello. A rabbit. No way to get that, though. Unless we build a snare or have some sort of weapon. That flag scared the hell out of me. All right, well, hopefully there's some sort of uh, fuel thing inside. This actually has a different symbol than the other buildings. This, sh Oh, abandoned factory. Okay, so it is something different. Can we go inside? Wow. Ooh, lots of food and water. Do we have another bowl? I wonder if there's a stove where we can... Um, we might be able to find a stove top that has more than one... Uh, thing. Painkillers again. Man, lots and lots of cloth. But no sewing kit. Looks like the uh, factory actually got, like, uh, an avalanche on it. Weird. Okay, let's start a fire. Ah, isn't that weird to see fire again? Only fi one minute per branch. All right, we better stay glued to the fire then. And let's see if we can cook anything. Might be able to make that tea. Restore s hydration, fill stomach, and cold resistance. Turkish coffee restores energy. <coughs> <coughs> Bread. Oh, wow. We could, oh, that's what that was. Yeast. Okay. Fill stomach by 75. Okay, that might be a good one. Let's make some bread. Burning time isn't enough. Add fuel to the stove. Okay. So we need then to make... Let's try the tea instead. Same story. Okay. Wait. I just add, add branches that way. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we have more branches. Let's try that bread again. Nice. Oh, we can only do one thing at a time. Okay, the bread dough will take 28 minutes. I would like to look around more, but I really don't want to leave the side of the uh, of the stove. Let's use uh, let's take a few uh, pills or whatnot. So it seems like for this being kind of the uh, intro to the game or whatnot, the developers have made it easy just to kind of figure things out. Again, this could just be the initial area. All these houses are pretty well spread out. Stone houses all the way along until the factory, but of course there's like uh, guard towers, radio things, there could be military structures out there or abandoned homes off in the distance, more interesting things to find. That'll be ready shortly. Let's take some drinks. Yeah, that's good. And then the bread should also give us the rest of the way there. But we really want the bread, I think, just to keep with us. Because we can eat some other food later. Like, for example, these wafers. Okay. 13 minutes left on the food. Okay, I'm going to go out and look for branches. We'll let that keep cooking. Um. Oh, wait a minute. There's smoke coming out from the 
smoked from the barrel, so maybe the smoke over there is some other survivors or something. Okay, well, we I think we looked around thoroughly. Oh, wait a minute. There's a hatchet. Okay. Well, now we can go uh, break down some branches. Oh, there's coal here, too. Alright, we'll carry a lot of this with us. Only 18. Okay, well, that is good that I found that. Oh, what is this? Scrap plastic? Huh. What is that used for? We used to craft various items. Wow, this game has a lot more stuff in it than I thought. The trouble with this game is that it's so photorealistic that you don't know what you can and can't use. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Like, yeah, like this. Scrap metal. Like, how would I have known that? Like, you gotta check the floor. Like, oh. Like, this looks like a rope, but I can't use it. So it's like, okay. So some things you can use, some things you can't. So if it was like a cable or something, it would be useful. All right, let's get out of here. The fire is going to burn for a while longer, but we're going to break next speed to the final destination. And if we see any, uh, if we see any uh, logs or whatever on our way, then we'll go grab those. I want to see what this damn fire is. I'm too curious. So it goes to show, though, that survival in this game is not incredibly difficult at the start because we're given so many uh, items, but if we, like, play like an ultra hard mode where you have to find everything yourself uh, any sort of damage that you take from fall damage or from uh, lack of food or water probably going to be irreplaceable but it is nice that they're kind with the um, antibacterial pills and the painkillers and all that stuff that's good alright this is the big moment what could be here I think it's just going to be an overturned train or something. There's more. There's got to be more out here to discover, too. We just followed the railroad tracks, which is like a no-brainer. I don't see any branches around. Oh, there could be one out. Oh, no. Those are a lot of stones and things. Okay. Oh, where's this fire? So we're approaching approaching the edge of the map now. Too bad we can't cut down these little trees and use them as a stick. The little saplings, you know, like take a... Uh, take a little bit of the hatchet and just pop the bottom of it off and knock the leaves off. Could even make a bow or a snare out of that, too. And a little flexible wood. Alright, well at least we have enough food and water. The biggest concern now is just to find another place to make a fire. Once we get to uh, the disaster area, which seems to be right over the... Is the railroad track bur burned to the left? No, it seems to be going right to the edge of the map. Let's go over here then. Well, then it, maybe it's not an overturned train. A train wreck? Oh boy. Now we can sharpen it with the whetstone that we have. I can't use it as a weapon? Are you kidding me? Well, we, we need to go what's over there. Okay, if I end up dying, hold on, let's save. If I end up dying, I'm just curious now at this point, who cares about survival? I want to know what this thing is over here. Maybe we can sneak past the wolves? Apparently I can't equip this as a... Oh, we can, we can actually make a knife if we have two scrap metal. Matches. Binoculars with the lens. I think I even saw a lens in one of the closets, too. Bullets, shotgun shells. Okay, we can make that stuff. Sulfur. Well, we sh we should have a uh, enough to make a knife. There m there probably was more stuff on the ground, but now we now we know what we're looking for, and where to find it. So it could be on the ground. This could be sulfur here, maybe. 
And we'll need a pickaxe to gather that, or just find it on the ground. Wow, that's, like, perfectly cut. Look at that, that's like from a butcher shop. Well, that explains why the where the wolves were. All right, let's get our stamina up and make a break for it. Could be wolves around here. I don't know if the uh, knife is used for defense or if it's only used to cut up animal carcasses. So there might not be... Well, actually, there are guns in the game. So the only purpose for guns might be for shooting. And the only purpose for the knife might be for skinning. I don't see any wolves. Is that another carcass there? Oh yeah, there's got to be wolves all around here then. Okay, let's save that energy. Wait a minute. Smoke might be on the other side of the, uh... Well, this is probably a, a tunnel, but it probably fades to black, and then there's no actual way through the tunnel. Like, it might just be an invisible wall. Whatever's here is on the other side of this. It's literally right here. Well, it's gotta be, like, a heat source of some sort. Now, of course, as we're about to find it, we'll probably be attacked by wolves. That's how it goes. Oh, there's a building down here. All right, well, whatever this is... Oh, damn. Is that a frickin' bear? Oh, are you kidding me? Two bears? This grisly fact is now unbearable. Oh, it's like a little camp. And there's a truck outside. It's a military base. Oh, yeah, there's some big-ass fire there. Oh, yeah, there was definitely some explosion. All right, well, one of the bears is heading towards us. Lots of branches. There we go, we got a knife. Twenty rounds of ammunition. Shotgun shells, binoculars. Ooh, hell, ooh. Okay, apparently that's the bear alarm. Alert! Alert! Intruder! Uh, apparently I can't equip the shotgun. Is there a way to... Alright, bear, I got it! Is there a way to arm the shotgun? 93% powerful shotgun for hunters to, who pursue large animals. Wow, look at him go! Yeah, he was flying! Alright, uh, we're dead for sure, but... How do I equip the shotgun? Like, there's no... Shotgun 0 out of 8. Oh, I have it. Okay, but how do we reload the shotgun? Uh, drop, split, cancel. How? Okay, we have the shotgun. Is there a controls? Uh, reload weapon R. Well, that's what I'm pressing. Also, Q to cycle weapons. Right mouse button to aim and fire. Oh, damn. What a dramatic conclusion, folks. Interact with objects 0 out of 8 for the shotgun. So, do I press E? Wait, shotgun zero out of eight, interact E. Does E... Hold on, how do we go back? Oh, there it goes. Now, now it's reloading. What the hell? Ah, yes, as you guys know, you when you, you know, reload a shotgun, it's one round. Get wetted up, bear. Red flares, blue flares. One flares, two flares.
Where'd that bear go? There's two of them. Get more stuff. Nice. Another ten rounds. Argo pants. Hell yeah. Oh, apparently we're over encumbered. Well, let's do this. Let's wear these pants and we'll drop the other ones. Is there a uh, storage thing? There we go. Get rid of these. Uh, I don't know about the binoculars. I don't think we need that. Knife seems to be good for salvaging. Oh, let's make this our base of operations. I mean, we got a lot of good stuff here, so let's drop this stuff off. How are we doing on, like, other stuff? Okay, we got coal here. We'll leave that. Apparently explosives are here. That's nice. Wait a minute. Is that a pathway through to the... No. All right, well, let's go see some combat with the bear. Apparently we have 16 rounds. Ooh, I see a shotgun shell under the bed. Which I don't know if I can get to. Well, there's definitely a shotgun shell down there. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a flashlight. Like a little one you put on your lapel. Okay, well, let's save. If I die, it'll be a lull. Uh, again, this is like an incomplete game, but promising to what we see. Uh, Mr. Bear, I need to remind you to click or tap that like button, sir. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, then. You look kind of kind of hideous. Where's your friend? Uh, it looks like the other gun... Oh, what was the other gun? A rifle or was it a handgun? Maybe we'll find a handgun in there. No? I hope I can shoot through this fence and that it's not like an invisible wall or whatever. Oh, damn. All right, I don't think you took any damage, Bear. I'll come over there, sir. Just stand by. Gonna pop you and drop you, you know what I mean? Do -do -do -do. Don't alert Bear 2. Bear, alert. Bear, alert. Get wrecked. Bear alert. <laughs> I think that's the bear, like, doing its AI pathing to find out how to get to me, but he can't quite figure it out. All right. Yay! I killed two bears. That's kind of cool that they actually dropped the empty shells everywhere, too. They probably disappear after time, but... Oh, good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, we got lots of meat. Oh, and I'm moving slow. All right, I'm going to get in my truck. We're going... We're going to the Denny's after all. Okay, so we can survive here a very long time. I have 12 meat now. There's carcasses all over. There's another one there. We got branches and logs laying around everywhere. Uh, we can go back and, like, cook up all this meat. Obviously, the bears were dumb and glitchy, but you know what? I prefer that because uh, it would have been... I, yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. This game uh, coming out soon to Steam. Make some improvements. and It's made by a very small team, like a Turkish team of, you know, one or two people who are just trying to make a cool survival game. The, 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 the forest looks great, and I love the fact that there's, like, military stuff, and it's abandoned, but, you know, you just got to find things to survive. There's weapons, and uh, better than just, like, a revolver and, a, and a, a rifle, and there's hatchets and stuff. Oh, here's the handgun. I must have missed that before. All right. Well, thanks again, guys, for all the support. Thanks for being here and, and hanging out. And I will uh, see you guys next time. Let's let's check out the pistol then. One more. Shoot it up for a homie. And let's go ahead and wet him up. Oh. Wow, he, like, puts the gun right in his face. Nice. That might be good enough to defend against wolves. Three shots for a shotgun bear to, a f to its face and maybe two or three for a wolf. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks to the team for giving me access to this one. I enjoyed it, and I want to see what happens with the story. Definitely going to come back to this one sometime soon.